What's going on guys? It's your boy Big China. I'm going to take you guys out today towards East Shoal by Two Lawns. It's, it is April now, so the season here for fishing has been closed. But we're going to go and we're going to net some suckers. Suckers, if you don't know, actually are a fantastic table fare. Like uh, like fish cakes, fish burgers, and you, can, you can can them. Um, they are considered like freshwater salmon. If done properly, they are fantastic. And a lot of people will use suckers as cut bait early on in the season, in the catfish season. They'll also use the sucker bellies uh, to go for trout. People think they're garbage fish, but you know what? In reality though, I'm going to show you some cool stuff today in terms of how you could prepare these suckers. You'd actually think twice next time when they are running that you should actually try it. Went out and bought myself a couple waders because I didn't want last time I went for suckers, I went in my shorts. Big mistake. Man, they don't make these for big people. So check it out, it's my boy Logan right here. Yeah. I just met up with him here, I just saw him. I actually met him like four years ago. I bought a reel off of him and he came, I came up and I'm like, hey man, is there any suckers? He's like, there is, but I have no net. Or his net just broke. So I'm like, well, I got two nets, so let's go get some suckers. So we're gonna show you, we got a, we got a bunch down there. Oh yeah. Let's go here. It's a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> Can you guys see this? Look at all that. That is just okay. Okay, so okay, wait. How about we do this? How about we put the two nets up against here? Up against one of the culverts here. Yeah. And then we'll chase them into the one side there. That sounds like a plan. It's go time. Logan's gonna chase them up this way. I'm holding the nets. In this bad girl. Gotta let her go. <laughs> go make some babies, mama. Pretty good haul there, eh? <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> Do that again. That's not bad. First run, we got about five or six. We kind of forced them into the into the net here. It is a lot of fun. <laughs> so we're working it where we're just trying to push them toward our nets, which is standing right there at the pipe. It's kind of 50-50. We got one open pipe. Let me see one. Got a bunch in here. Oh, oh yeah. We got a couple. It's all right. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh there you go. Yeah, they're hiding. Oh yeah. Got a carp in there too. There you go. Check that out. It's a nice color on them, man. Eh? You know what? When they come, when they're this clean, man. Like, why wouldn't you want to eat it? Yeah. Get the color on this guy here. Very nice. Look at this. One of these. Dude. Serious? <laughs> what the f? They're getting smarter, man. <laughs> they are getting smarter. We thought we were gonna cut. Like, we had a big school here. <laughs> we try one last pass. We have quite a bit. Of, we have actually quite a bit. So I think we got more, than enough, right? more than enough. Even though it's just, it's not a game fish. You don't have to come here and grab like 60 of them and fill your truck up because you know, like honestly, like how many. Cut bait for suckers is only good for the first two, three weeks of the season anyways, and after that they're going to shrimp and gold eye. So unless you really want to keep it for table fare, I mean, do your part. I mean, ec ec ecologically they do have a part that they play in the system here. So you know what, even though there's a lot, we would like to see like our kids in the future be able to come down here and do the same thing and, and catch a bunch of suckers. And who knows, maybe you like the recipes I put on there. Just come <laughs> here and start eating them. <laughs> Sucker, it's the other white meat. I want to do about two or three recipes. If I really want to can them, I might come back and grab a few more. I definitely do have to say that having these waders on is definitely a lot better. I'm like, it's cold. What do you think, Logan? Yeah, I've seen a bunch down here, so I think it's pretty good. All right. Well, I do have to admit, these fish are getting smarter. We're going to help these two guys out. Cause they want some suckers too, eh? What do you guys do with your suckers? Can them? Uh, we smoke them. Guys. Smoke them? Yeah. I'm gonna try that. We have now become three, three pushers. It's a lot of work.
Oh, oh no! Oh these bad boys. Oh. Look at the size of that one. That thing's huge. It's the biggest. Oh. So here you go, Logan. What do you think, buddy? Not bad, good, eh? Yeah, we had a good time. It's kind of, it's not kind of cool that we actually kind of just met up. And so, if you're by yourself, you can do it. It's gonna take time. But if you got two people, you got a strategy like what we did. We put our nets in front of that little pipe, and we just chased them in there. We're done. Not even like 20, 30 oh, yeah. minutes. Done. It's time to clean them up. Time to yeah. eat. Pound doggies, brother. Job Bam. Right. Yeah. Well, there you have it, guys. Uh, you know what? It didn't take long. Uh, to get the suckers. Uh, I met up with Logan here. Um, that's awesome. I met Logan about four years ago and when I was uh, driving up, I was like, man, I know that guy. And he's like, hey, big China. And I'm like, you know what, how's sucker fishing? He's like, you know, it's good. I just got here. I got one, but my net broke. And I'm like, well, it's okay, buddy. I got two. So let's work together. It was a matter of like, oh, it wasn't even like 20 minutes. We set up our nets, as you can tell. We set up our nets on the other side of those pipes and then we let the current push into the nets and then we went up a little further up, up the ditch and we pushed all the suckers in and it was easy as that you can definitely come out on your own but it's a lot of work sometimes because uh, there's not a lot of cover in this ditch right now where we were where we were actually trying to net them so they can actually see you coming if you're not doing anything on the weekend you mean like yeah definitely get the kids get some nets out uh, try to get some waders because this water is pretty chilly and yeah get some suckers it's a lot of fun and just to let you know a little more about the sucker fishing here I mean they do get a little bit of a bad rap a lot of people think they're garbage fish if you prepare them and dress them properly these these suckers are amazing table fare and I'm gonna show you a couple of recipes well I'm gonna show you how I dress them and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna cook them later on in the kitchen they're amazing cut bait for for catfish at the beginning of the season pretty good for the first two to three weeks and then after that catfish go to their typical gold eyes and their and their shrimp and all that kind of stuff even though it is suckers and there's lots of them out here uh, doesn't mean that you have to come out here and catch up like 100 200 of them especially if you're not going to use them if you're just going to use them for cat I mean grab a dozen you're going to have more than enough for the season if you want to eat them eat them use them um, don't waste these fish doesn't matter just because they're not a game fish they're not a walleye doesn't mean they don't deserve the respect that we need to give to them suckers have been around for a long time a lot of people do eat them they are considered freshwater salmon when you when you can them properly they are fantastic hopefully i can put a recipe together for you but yeah here you go man oh oh yeah whistle trout freshwater freshwater whistle trout is what they call them look at those little suckers any relate think any relations let's get them up to the truck we're going to clean them up i'm going to show you a couple ways i'm going to dress them all right, so check it out. We're back at the restaurant right now. And originally, what I wanted to do is I wanted to do a catch and a cooking video. But you know what, it was gonna be way too long, so I'm just gonna cut it right here. Stay tuned though, uh, for the cooking video on these suckers. I'm gonna be making some really cool recipes. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget, give us a like on Facebook and on YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe. Other than that, I am out of here. Peace.